everybody. So today we're going to try Cider Boys Tiki Colada. Um, apple Pina Colada Hard Cider. 12 fluid ounces. This did come in a mixed 12 pack. 5% uh, ABV. I was trying to think uh, when I pulled these out of the fridge, what would apple, if I've had a drink with apple and pina colada in it. And I don't think I have, so I'm not sure how this is going to taste. Now, I did just do the Royal Blueberry one, and I think if that's an indication of what the rest of these might be like, I think we're going to get more of whatever's added. So on this one, the pina colada is probably going to stand out a lot more than the apple. And so it's just going to depend. Do you like that, that hard cider with more of an apple than a little hint of whatever? Or do you want whatever's in it to take over? So no head on this. Uh, color, watered down golden yellow in color. Almost like if I was looking at this, I would say that there's um, pineapple in here uh, compared to the first one the blueberry version i would say yep definitely there's some kind of pineapple juice or something in this so let's go ahead and smell you definitely get that coconut like uh almost a faint suntan lotion coconut smell um, maybe a little pineapple juice let's see if they're showing yeah just the pineapple on there I think it mixes f fine um, with uh, uh, the coconut in there. I think it really covers up the, the base cider. Like I'm really not getting apple tart. Yeah, smells, I, I, I think it smells fine. Um, I think this goes back to what I was saying. I think in these, at least the adjuncts or the star of the show is going to be what's in there, not the apple cider. Let's go ahead and taste. Yeah, you get that coconut, that pineapple. There's some tanginess in there. Uh, could be from the pineapple aftertaste as your palate warms up. Um, that pineapple comes out more, but I think some of that tartness, or maybe most of the tartness, is coming from that cider. Um, it does have that same tartness as uh, the Royal Blueberry one. And I was actually saying, okay, maybe the blueberry's bringing that tartness. But I, I think after having that one, then this one, that tartness level is the same. So I would think that's coming from the base. I like coconut. I like pineapple. Um, I think this is good. Uh, it's not overly sweet, but there is some sweetness there. Um, I would actually go 4.25 out of 5. Again, I am a coconut fan. So if you're not a big coconut fan, I think uh, you would probably score this a little bit lower. But yeah, the carbonation. I want a little bit more carbonation. I understand that it's a hard cider, but I still think there should be a little bit more there. Uh, it almost seems flat, like cold flat. Like if I was brewing a beer, fermenting a beer, it was done fermenting, and I took like an ounce or two and put it in the fridge and drank it, um, I think that's what you would get. So yeah, I, I wanna see a little bit more carbonation. So let's check untapped. Three of my friends have checked it in, 4.08. Uh, almost 3,000 people, 3.91. So I'm a little bit higher. Coconut Tropical Sweet Apple Spring. I don't know why they would put spring on there. Why wouldn't they put pineapple? Uh, let's just look real quick. So this is back in 2019, 2019, 2019. I don't think these have a date, but um, 0842SP1340. So whatever that is. 
because I was thinking that was a date at first, but there, there's no way this would be 2042. And it's 2SP. So, yeah, for the most part, I would say so far so good. Um, I would pick this one up again just to drink. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, cheers.